Well, everyone, I should have had this video pre-recorded and ready to publish when this stuff went public because I have known about this stuff for a couple days now, but I'm happy to be able to bring it to you today. Uh, unexpectedly, though, this is a little bit earlier than I was actually thinking it would actually go public, uh, but we actually have our first list for 2024 LEGO Star Wars sets for January, March, and May of next year. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars video and let's kind of get right into it. So we got some 2024 news for like I said, January, March, and May, uh, pretty much the first half. There are a couple things missing still, of course we have, you know, plenty of details missing. Uh, of course no images, you know, nowhere kind of near that yet. And there are still a few sets that could possibly be missing to fill out some of these set numbers. But starting off with the, the number one thing here... Uh, something I brought up the other day, we have 75372, the Cloneverse Droid Battle Pack for $30, uh, 215 pieces, January 1st, 2024, and the big kicker here, guys, Super Battle Droids will be returning, it was something I, I was kind of hinting at the other day, I could not really confirm or deny it, but now we have a full confirmation here from Promo Bricks uh, that Super Battle Droids will be returning, and that set will have up to about 10 minifigures for $30. We don't specifically know the clone Legion yet for the set, uh, but what I will say is I'm willing to bet this uh, Captain Rex alarm clock that it uh, may or may not be a couple of these guys right there that I just put on the screen, but uh, nonetheless right there, you know, whether it's eight minifigures, nine minifigures, ten minifigures, you know, if uh, three or four of them are clone troopers, uh, you know, say three of them are regular droids, and then even, you know, two super battle droids, you know, for $30, you know, get it on sale for the regular 24 that is crazy right there. That is a army builder if I've ever seen one, uh, you know, for both sides of it. And uh, Super Battle Droids being back, I can't wait to see what they kind of do to redesign them. Uh, will there be a little bit of printing on them? Uh, will they be kind of, you know, the same gray? Are they going to go a different color, a uh, different technique to make them? I'm very curious. Um, it is about, uh, you know, 70 pieces less than the old 501st Battle Pack, you know, which makes sense. Uh, you know, there probably will only be one vehicle, which I've heard might be a miniature ARC-170 build. Only one build for the set because, you know, the droids will be taking up a lot of the other parts and, of course, more minifigures uh, to kind of justify that $30 price point. So with all that being said, that is fantastic value for your $30. You know, one small vehicle and, you know, eight, nine, or ten minifigures, including, you know, possibly some very awesome clone troopers, uh, helmet holes or not. And then also, you know, Super Battle Droids returning. That is a fantastic set. And I'm very happy it's coming out. All right, then also moving on to two more sets coming out January uh, 1st, 2024 that I kind of hinted at a couple days ago as well. Uh, we do have confirmation of the 75384, uh, the Crimson Firehawk. It's going to be from the animated series, The Young Jedi Adventures. And then, uh, you know, that's going to consist of 136 parts, uh, $50. So it will be a four plus set, which that's crazy. Only 136 parts for uh, 50 or maybe even 60 USD. Uh, that is nuts right there. We don't know any minifigures yet, but I kind of went over it. We'll probably get like a nubs. We'll probably get that one guy. Uh, you know, that actually kind of flies the ship, you know, it's kind of his ship or maybe her ship. I, I, at this point, I don't even know. Um, I already forgot the character after two days. Presumably, you know, three or four minifigures, four plus like, you know, promo bricks kind of states. And uh, it's kind of, kind of, you know, kind of be a whatever set, you know, wait for a little clearance deal, I feel. Uh, but the build might actually be halfway decent because the actual ship design is not too bad. Uh, next up, 75374, also coming out January 1st. Uh, that will be that skeleton crew set that I brought up the other day. It's actually going to be $140 and to have, you know, 1,325 parts. Uh, no rumors yet on the minifigures or anything like that yet. Then one more quick thing for January 2024, we have 30680, a Lego Star Wars poly bag, 75 pieces uh, for $5. We have no clue what that's going to be yet, uh, but presumably going to be a nice little miniature build again and eventually go on to be a May 4th promo uh, for 2024 also. Moving on to March 1st, 2023, we actually got three sets currently, uh, one being a mini-scale Millennium Falcon. Uh, this right here is going to be $80, 75375, uh, you know, no rumor piece count yet or anything like that. You know, presumably going to be no minifigures, like how the Executor came with no minifigures, but uh, this will be a nice one to finally kind of get a revamp after, you know, 12 or 15 years uh, since that last mini-scale one. Uh, definitely a nice little inclusion to that new line they're bringing, and uh, this is kind of the, uh, the telltale sign that uh, you guys will kind of tell. Uh, you know, the helmet line might be fully done, at least for uh, 2024 and uh, possibly forever. And uh, mini scale is taking over, kind of like we uh, all suspected last year. The so next up, we have 75376, the Tantive 4 uh, mini scale, you know, vehicle diorama set. And, uh, you know, 
presumably again no minifigure uh, no piece count yet on that one and um you know definitely a nice inclusion makes perfect sense i can't complain and uh hopefully they knock it out of the park pretty well and uh well, like i said definitely be a nice inclusion to the uh the mini scale line that i feel like they're gonna uh knock pretty heavy for the next couple of years and i can't blame them uh you know i think it's a good concept and uh, hopefully you know they execute these uh well like i kind of think they will then lastly, uh, for what we know for March 1st, 2024, as always, maybe something could get changed or a little something can get added. Uh, we've actually got the 75387, uh, should it be about 55 or 60 USD. It is actually the Tantive 4 boarding party uh, diorama with uh, you know Darth Vader and his stormtroopers actually boarding the, uh, the Tantive at the beginning of A New Hope. And uh, that is a scene that I feel like we've needed for like decades now. Like that's something they could have done back in like 2006, I feel and uh, probably done it pretty well and uh, make perfect sense. And finally, now in 2024, uh, we are getting it, and I am not complaining whatsoever. Uh, that is a set that I've always kind of thought maybe they could do it like the Dark Trooper Attack. I'm actually kind of glad they are making it a little bit more, you know, prestigious, and they're doing a diorama, uh, you know, giving it a better budget, more pieces, and uh, I can't wait to see what this looks like. And this is something that LEGO has needed to do for many, many years, and I'm very thankful it's coming out in 2024 at least. So to actually round out March 1st with this last thing right here, we actually have a buildable R2-D2 75379 uh, for $100. And uh, I don't really know why they're doing this. I have heard a couple other things regarding this set that I don't know if I can say in this video or not. Uh, because again, I don't know if promo bricks are wrong or if my guys are wrong. I'm not too sure. But I have heard that this actually might include a little something special in that set to make it kind of stand out and not just be a regular old, uh, you know, R2-D2 buildable figure, um, you know, kind of just remake, you know, so soon with the UCS one on shelves, uh, you know, because on paper, this doesn't really make too much sense. So like I said, there might be a little something special to it. I don't think I can talk about it quite yet, but that is also coming out March 1st, 2024. All right, then moving on to May 1st, 2024. Of course, we have the UCS set. That will be $240. We have no clue what that's going to be yet. Uh, you know, we probably won't know until, you know, late February, early March, if not even late March or early April. Uh, but that will be $240. Uh, but the actual kind of real sets coming out May 1st, uh, we do have a Droidica, a buildable Droidica 75381. Uh, that will cost, you know, $60, which I'm very excited for this. You know, definitely going to be a day one buy. Uh, very big prequel fan. I think that stuff, you know, building, you know, droidicas and, you know, characters that make sense in that scale, um, I really do think, you know, LEGO does a good job with it. So I can't wait to see what it looks like. And I feel like that would be a very nice display piece, you know, behind me and my, my backdrop here. The next up, 75380, the Bunta Eve Pod Race Diorama. Another one, very excited for this. I can't wait to see how they do it. I think this is going to look fantastic. Uh, probably end up being my favorite diorama. You know, they do until uh, hopefully, you know, in 2025, they do some uh, episode three, uh, you know, dioramas. But uh, this one right here, $70 coming out May 1st, 2024. Uh, you know, nothing much more we know about it. No piece count, you know, no figures. Uh, from what I've heard, there's going to be no figures. It's all going to be a micro scale build uh, like the trench run diorama. But uh, nonetheless, very awesome to hear. Moving on to the last set for this list and the last set for May 1st, 2024. You know, that we know of as of right now, they're could always be another little surprise set here and there i don't doubt that for a second but basically with the information we know as of now uh we actually have the 75378 uh the uh the rescuing the grogu from the jedi temple set you know grogu escape scene for mando season three uh this will be 30 dollars uh presumably gonna be like a bark speeder uh jedi Caller and beck you know grogu uh maybe a clone trooper you know they'll probably have one clone trooper on the offensive uh towards them and uh, pretty much call it a day for a nice little 30 dollar set and uh as as i always say I think the time matter of it is like a year too late. I don't know why they don't expedite, you know, expedite this up to like January 1st and just not wait till May. I mean, you know, spoilers are out there. Everyone knows. Everyone has seen the episode. If you haven't watched, you know, Mando season three yet, especially by January 1st. I mean, come on now. That's like eight months late. Uh, what are you doing? So I, this is one of those things where I strongly do think. It's just, why are we coming out with it May 1st and not January 1st? But, all right, guys, so that is everything for today's video. Um, as we get more information, I will definitely keep you guys up to date. Um, you know, as always, I like to try to be the first person to kind of break stuff. And, um, you know, it looks like, believe me, going into 2024, um, I've got some things that, uh, again, I'm very confident with uh, kind of what I can bring to the channel, you know, for the rest of this year uh, going into next year. So definitely stay tuned to it. Um, I can't wait to uh, bring you guys more information. And of course, I do other videos on the channel. Also, uh, leave your thoughts down below. How's 2024 sounding? Um, anything you guys uh, really like? Anything you guys don't like to hear so far, uh, you know, about 2024? And I'd uh, love to hear it down below, guys. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys, and stay safe.